It's not about motivation. When is new discipline? Wake up and win today. <laughs> discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with the Riyadh season. Jeremiah Milton, former sparring partner of Anthony Joshua and current sparring partner Francis Ngannou. Just seen the Padworks, well, I don't want to call it Padwork media workout. Uh, what did you make of both guys? No, you know, I, I really like what Joshua did. You know, he brought the kids in there with him, you know, let them get some shine off. Uh, both guys look look sharp. They look ready. Francis, you know what I'm saying? He looked much more composed uh, in this workout. At least his balance looked like it was a lot better from the first Tyson Fury shot. I know a lot of people were looking at that and like, oh, what is this dude doing in the ring? Because a lot of people had something to say about his last meeting workout. But you know what? If the pads are an indication, he looks the part for sure now. Well, I'm very curious, Jeremiah. You've obviously done many rounds with uh, Francis. He was aiming for the body. I know you can't, out respect, give away what the plans are, but them body shots that he was landing on the uh, the body bag, what are they like if you if you take one on your ribs? <laughs> you know what? I don't know exactly what their game plan is. I really don't, but I mean, they're hellacious. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like the man has just got heavy hands regardless, so you don't want to feel that to the body for too long. Fascinating. What do you make of AJ doing nothing? Do you think that's the right thing to do or do you think he should have done something? Uh, you know, I, I think maybe it was a personal decision. Uh, apparently, you know what I'm saying? That's just how he approaches it. So, uh, yeah, I think it was good. You know, I always have to get out there and, you know, stretch out for the people. Switch it up, man. You know, let those kids have some shine. That was a beautiful thing. Um, you know, he's ready. Look at him. He's in shape. He's primed. Both guys, now this point obviously you've not had a fight on this sort of scale yet but you know what it's set like three four days before obviously you got all the media here both guys you know AJ looks like he's switched on now like it looks like he's he's gone away from that guy that was smiling a couple of days ago yeah yeah definitely the temperature has changed a bit huh like uh, you could tell he didn't really look off into the distance you know what I'm saying he come out here just focused on the ring ready to get in I mean he already knew he wasn't gonna hit the pads but like you know he's in his tunnel just uh, out of curiosity, Jeremiah, you said to me the other day that this does not go the distance. Are you still sticking with that? A hundred percent. I just feel like styles make fights and you got two people with the right style to get in there and produce a knockout. I'd really be surprised. I mean, I think this is going to go down as one of those fights that's in the books type. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you tune in. Stuff. Any news on yourself before I let you go? Because I know a lot of fans are intrigued to follow your journey as well. And, you know, when can they see uh, the guy with one of the best boxing nicknames back out in the ring, uh, Dreamland Milton? That's it, man. Dreamland is coming to you, inshallah, soon. You know, um, I'm out here. I'm talking with a couple of people right now. We're trying to make things happen. Looking for a date, at least in April. Um, but you know what? I'm already in the gym. I'm already ready. So, um, inshallah, you'll see me soon. All the best, Jeremiah. Thank you for your time. Listen, I got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you toward your goals. 